Peace out, please. It's obvious. I'm a music producer, I'm an artist, and I'm a marketer. What happened today? Instagram just crashed, right? So some people are posting, I guess, but most people, they cannot post onto Instagram. I cannot post. I want to promote my song, trying, and it's not working. I'm trying to post, <laughs> but it's not working, right? Instagram has crashed, and I think Facebook has as well. You know, this isn't the first time it's happened, right? It's happened before. And, you know, I can't post anything on on the story. I can't, the, the, the DMs, they're not loading fully. I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to promote my music? How am I supposed to pro who I, promote who I am to my fans? If they can't see where I'm, where I am. <laughs> Yo, that rhymed, okay though. How, what am I supposed to do, right? You're an artist, you're an influencer, and you rely on Instagram so much because all your peeps are there. And now Instagram shut down, you are at the mercy of them, and you can't do anything because all your resources, all everything you've been doing has been going straight to Instagram. Instagram, what are you doing? So they shut down. I can't, I, I can't, I can't let my people know what's got, what's going on, what's up, um, what do you do in these situations, right? So this is really just a lesson for all of us influencers, musicians, artists, and creators that you, you don't want to be at the mercy of one platform. You don't want to be at the mercy of Instagram because they, they have the keys. They have the keys. If Instagram isn't working, then you, your brand isn't working. If you, if you rely too much on Instagram. And that's my main point today. My main point is you don't wanna be at the mercy of somebody else. Sure, um, we can use all these platforms to our advantage. And you gotta make sure you have fans, you have people that support you in many different areas many different platforms not just instagram not just not here but here all around you know you want to have your fans everywhere so this is what what i do what i do myself i'll i'll make a post or make a story post and i'll be like follow my snapchat because i do freestyles on there I, that's what i've been doing for a little bit i haven't been i actually haven't been freestyling as much on my snapchat but I would let people know I got my freestyles on Snapchat and I wouldn't do them on Instagram. So I would leave certain things for certain platforms. Leave certain things that you do that you post on their own platforms. Make each platform unique, have a unique experience. So basically what I'm saying is, all right, Instagram, I got my, my main posts where I got my pictures of me and I write a long, long caption, right? Then I post the IGTV videos. YouTube, I have my long form content, long videos where I go really into depth with things. Snapchat, very personal, uh, yeah, but much more personal posts. Uh, m mostly stuff that I won't post on my Instagram stories usually. Sometimes I'll post the same thing but you want to have each platform have their own separate things that you're posting like my my Twitter I'll post usually like little one-liners um, things that I usually won't post on Instagram or my snapchat story I'll post a little inspirational motivational thing or just some uh, mostly on my my Twitter I'll post thoughts that just my just thoughts that are going through my head and I, I Things that I don't want to post on my other platforms. So Twitter is another really personal experience, which is very different from everything else that I'm posting. Because Snapchat posts little videos of things, and Instagram has its own. Instagram Stories have its own things. So make sure that you really have each of your platforms have their own experiences. A lot of times, a lot of times, what I'll do is, if I'm doing a certain thing, I'll take a video, a little video on Snapchat, and I'll have, <coughs> yeah, okay. So I'll take a little video on Snapchat, and then 
it's maybe write a little caption and then on ins on t Instagram I write I'll take a different type of video maybe even a picture and write it a little bit differently so you have one thing but then you branch off onto your other platforms and just change the way that you're putting it out there a little bit just change that one thing that you're posting one event that you're posting and post it differently on your social media so if I'm making the other day here's another example I, yesterday I was recording a song I took a little video or took a little photo from me like holding it up so you could see me recording and a little roll of caption and then on Twitter I took a little photo and wrote another caption is it snapchat a little different I might I might have put some gifts on there or something like that I can't remember right now exactly but I'll put different gifts or something I'll put a different caption but it's all the same thing I'm recording but on my all my other social media you'll see different things you might see you might hear from me different sides of the story basically and that's really something important that you have to do as a creator let people follow you all across all platforms because if one goes down you don't want to be at the mercy of that one platform so another thing another big thing that I want to tell you guys to do if you're a creator and you're you want to build a following a big community following one thing that you could really do is build your website make a website it's really not that expensive you know it's really easy really really easy to make a website it, it, it's simple like Squarespace, I use Squarespace, and it's absolutely simple. I'm not promoting them or anything. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know this is what I use, and it's really simple to make your website through this. And another thing that another website, um, Wix, Wix is really great for making a website. Very simple. It's not complicated. You don't need coding. You, it's optional. You can do some coding, and you can learn things that will make it uh, much more unique. Your website making it unique. But <clears throat> making a website is absolutely phenomenal because if you're if everything crashes, all these platforms crash, you wh where are people gonna find you? People where are they gonna look for your stuff? They wanna they wanna listen, they wanna they wanna engage with their content, they wanna consume your content that they don't know where to find you. Make a website. Make a website. And very importantly, you should make an an email collection. Um, that's what that word that weird. Word. Collect people's emails, basically, is what I'm saying. Basically, like on my website, you can subscribe, and I'll be sending you things that I'm posting. So I'll send, I'll let you guys know when I'm posting a video on my YouTube, and that's what you should be doing. Collect people's emails so you can let them know when your next song's dropping. Drop that song, send out an email, you even send out special things for the email, like make it more more personalized and have different things on the email that you don't have everything everywhere else. Maybe you can do that too. And and basically if you have people's emails and the platforms go down, you can send out you can still send out emails, you can still reach these people. And yes, I know our emails get very very cluttered we get a lot of emails all the time still doesn't matter it's still people will still be reading your emails people will still be reading it and if you keep sending it then maybe you will catch them maybe they'll miss your message but if you send another email they'll they'll see you so make sure you get people's emails because emails you can you can do anything with emails make sure you're collecting emails because especially when you're collecting emails you can just export the list of contacts onto an Excel file and you can have it save it somewhere so one really nice way that I found that you can collect people's emails on your Instagram is through stories what you can do is you know the questions wait here I'm sure all right so you know how you can do the questions so you click questions and then people can basically input their email there and that's another great way Ooh. and that's another great way that you can collect emails I'll show you an example exactly how I set this up I was saying basically yo 
I was saying, guys, I can't, I can't connect with you. Instagram's not working. See at the bottom where my thumb is? People can just input their email there. And that's how I collect my emails sometimes. And it works. As soon as I posted it, one of my big fans, he actually put his email in. So it works great. And it's very simple. It's very easy. People, they don't, they don't have to do much. They don't have to click any links in the bio. All they have to do is just type in their email. That's it. It's just like that. Don't be at the mercy of the platform. Instagram was messing up today. What happens if they completely shut down? You never know what's gonna happen. I mean, and I, I have so many people on my Instagram, I don't wanna lose touch with them. Like, I, we have some great conversations. I've been building a great community, people who care, and it's absolutely, I'm just so absolutely blessed for the community of people who really dig my stuff and engage with me and connect, and it's just amazing. I don't wanna lose these people. I want to stay friends, I want to build amazing friendships and stay connected and so don't be at the mercy of the platform. I said that probably a billion times. Just want you to know that you got to build your own thing. Build your own platform. Make your website. Collect emails. Make individualized content for each of the social media. You got one thing going on, post it in different ways across your social media. So that way people will want to stick around. People will want to check out all of your social media. They won't just want to see one thing. They'll be like, they'll, they'll see one thing maybe on uh, one of your social media accounts and they'll be like, hmm, you know, obvious. He, he usually posts about the same thing but differently on his other social media. Maybe I can get some, or uh, maybe I can hear how, what he's thinking about this on another social media, you know, maybe I can see how he thinks about this differently. What else does he, what else is he thinking about it? What else does he have to say about it? So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. IG tips video is coming right after this, so stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like and comment below what you thought about this video. What what else do you want to see? And let me know. So, thank you so much. Peace and love. It's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa.